Numerical Reasoning Assessment Test is a standardized evaluation designed to assess individuals' ability to understand and work with numerical data, make calculations, interpret charts and graphs, and draw conclusion from quantitative information. The content of numerical reasoning test can vary, but it often includes tasks that involve basic arithmetic, percentage and ratios, data interpretation, financial analysis, mathematical problem solving, number sequences, and a lot of other topics. Numerical reasoning tests are commonly used in fields that require quantitative analysis, such as finance, economics, engineering, data analysis, and many others. These tests help employers identify candidates who possess the necessary numerical skills to perform well in the roles that involve working with numerical data, numbers, and calculations. Hi there, this is Vadim from Online Training for Everyone. And in this video, you will have everything you need to get prepared and pass an assessment test. Make sure to watch this video from the beginning to end and if necessary, multiple times until you understand all the questions and know how to solve them easily. If this video was helpful and you decide to give this video a like, you will help YouTube algorithm to recommend it to others and we would greatly appreciate it. And if you choose to subscribe to Online Training for Everyone, you will find relevant videos to help you get ahead in your career and will be able to improve your intelligence, IQ, and get ready and pass any test. One important note. If you would like to practice with the most recent questions for this particular assessment, make sure to check the links in the descriptions and in comments of this video to know about the premium options to get you prepared. And now let's go ahead and get started so we can get you ready for the assessment test. Here's a very interesting problem which shows how well you can do mental calculations. It will take another 5 minutes for the clock to strike 4 o'clock. How much time is left until the clock shows a quarter to 4? You're presented with two clocks. One shows 5 minutes before 4 o'clock. Second one shows quarter to 4. And you need to select the answer out of 4 possible choices. Choice A. 11 hours and 15 minutes. Choice B. 12 hours and 10 minutes. Choice C. 11 hours and 10 minutes and last but not least choice d 10 minutes take a close look to see if you can come up with the answer i'm moving forward to share with you my version of the answer and if for whatever reason you think the answer should be different please make sure to post your answer solution and rationale in comments let's first determine how much time is actually on the clock based on the description it will take another five minutes for the clock to strike four o'clock which means that the clock now shows 355 our next described point on the clock will be quarter to four, which could be represented as 1545. And clock will reach this point after around 12 hours to show 345 again. In the military time, which is frequently used in US, it's going to be 1545. And it's going to be a little bit less than 1555. Let's determine how much less than 12 hours it's going to be. Since the clock already passed 10 minutes from 3.45 to 3.55, it will take 10 minutes less than full 12 hours. This is why we can subtract 10 minutes from 12 hours to get to the answer of 11 hours and 50 minutes. So the correct answer here is choice A, 11 hours and 50 minutes. Did you get to the same answer? If not, please make sure to post your answer and rationale in comments. What's interesting about this problem is that it seems unsolvable. But if you make one correct assumption, it's so easy to solve it. You're presented with the shelf of items from the coffee shop. And the items are cupcakes and cookies. There are three sets of items and two sets have price tags associated with them. And the last set does not and you need to calculate the price tag for the last set. The first set consists of one cookie and one cupcake. And the price tag for the first set is $7. The second set consists of two cookies and one cupcake, and the price tag for the second set is $12. The last set consists of only one cupcake, and you need to calculate and select price for the cupcake out of four possible choices. Choice A, $5. Choice B, $4. Choice C, $2. And last but not least, choice D, $3. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the answer. Did you figure it out? It seems unsolvable, but the only thing you need to make is one assumption. 
and using this assumption, I'm going to move forward to share with you my version of the answer. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. Take a close look at the first set. The first set consists of cookie and cupcake, and it costs $7. What's interesting is that the second set already includes the first set plus the cookie, which allows us to calculate the price of this extra cookie. And we can do it by subtracting 7 from 12, and the end result of it is $5, which means that the price of cookie is $5. Now we can easily calculate the price of cupcake by subtracting 5 from 7, which means that the total price of cupcake is 2. So the correct answer here is choice C, $2. Did you get to the same answer? If not, please make sure to post your answer, solution and rationale in comments. Here's an amazing problem where you need to exercise your brain and cognitive skills by calculating not just one number, but two numbers. You're presented with the scale and you see that the value of diamond as well as the sum values are missing. And you need to ensure that scale remains balanced by calculating the value of the diamond as well as the sum. And once you've done with your calculations, you need to select out of four possible choices. Choice A, values 18 and 96. Choice B, values 12 and 88. Choice C, values 20 and 92. And last but not least, choice D, values 19 and 94. Take a close look, maybe pause this video to see if you can complete the calculations. On my end, I'm moving forward to share with you my version of the calculations. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. To solve this challenge, let's look at the picture closely to better understand what we're dealing with. We're presented with the multi-tier scale. And the scale has four tiers. Tier 1, Tier 2, tier 3 and tier 4. Scale remains in balance because values on the left side and on the right side are equal and the values are represented by the total of numbers inside of each shape. For example, circle has number 12, hexagon has number 6, triangle has number 3 and square has number 4. Let's look closely at tier 3 to better understand how this tier remains in balance. As I already mentioned, each tier remains in balance because the numbers are equal on both sides. So on the left of the tier 3, we have two hexagons with total value of 12. On the right of the tier 3, we have hexagon, which equals number 6, plus two triangles, 3 plus 3. So on both sides, the total value is 12. This is why tier 3 remains in balance. Now let's look closely at the tier 2. On the left of the tier 2, we have two circles. Each circle has a value of 12. Two circles would be equal 24. On the left of the tier 2, we have two circles with total value of 24 and the entire tier 3, which also equals 24. This is what keeps tier 2 in balance. Now, knowing this logic, we can calculate the missing value on tier 4. Because tier 4 needs to remain in balance, the value of 12 plus 6 should be equal to the missing value, which means that the missing value is 18. And the total sum will be calculated as the sum of all the numbers. The sum of tier 2 and tier 3 would be 24 plus 24 plus 48 on the right side of tier 1, which would equal 96. So the correct answer here is choice A, 18 and 96. Did you get to the different answer? Please make sure to post your answer and solution in comments. Here's a very interesting question where answer is absolutely not obvious. You're presented with interestingly looking shapes. On top of the shape is triangle. On the bottom left and on the bottom right, there are squares. There are numbers inside the triangle. And there are also numbers inside the squares. Let's take a close look. The first object has number 5 inside the triangle and number 3 in the left square and number 17 in the right square. Second object has number 4 inside the triangle and numbers 5 and 22 inside the squares. The third object has number 3 inside the square and numbers 8 and 26 inside the squares. The fourth object has number 2 inside of the triangle, number 7 in the left square, and then comes the missing number inside the right square. And did I mention that all objects are of a different colors? If we go from left to right, we start with red on the left, next goes light blue, yellow and then darker blue and obviously you're the one who needs to make sense out of it and calculate the missing number 
Once calculated, select the final answer out of four possible choices. Choice A, 14. Choice B, 25. Choice C, 16. And last but not least, choice D, 20. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the solution. Are you ready? Because on my end, I am moving forward to share with you my version of the answer. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. If you are a frequent visitor to this channel, or even better, if you are a subscriber, you probably know that the key to solving these types of challenges is to understand the pattern. And the pattern here is that the number in the right square is calculated. And it's calculated by multiplying the number inside of the triangle onto the left square number. And on top of this multiplication, you also add 2 to the end result of the calculation. Let's look at the example. If we multiply 5 by 3 in the first object, the end result of this calculation would be 15. Then we add 2 to 15, and that's how we get to the number in the right square, which is 17. Let's look at the second example. 4 multiplied by 5 equals 20, plus 2 equals 22. Now let's move to the third object. 3 multiplied by 8 is 24, plus 2 equals 26. And now comes the missing number. To calculate it, we need to multiply 2 by 7, which would be equal to 14, and then add 2, and end result of this would be 16. So the correct answer here is choice C, 16. Did you get to the same answer? If not, please make sure to post your answer and solution in comments. Here's a very interesting question where you need to calculate the missing number. You are presented with four circles. Each circle is of a different color. The first circle has number 1 inside of it. Second circle has number 2. Third circle has number 5 inside. And last circle has the missing number represented by the question mark. You need to calculate and select final answer out of four possible choices. Choice A, 24. Choice B, 26. Choice C, 16. And last but not least, choice D, 20. Take a close look to see if you can calculate the final answer. Are you ready? I hope you found the answer because it's so easy to calculate. Let's move forward so I can share with you my version of the solution. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. I keep repeating myself when I say that finding pattern is the key to solve this challenge. And the pattern here is that the next number is calculated as a square value of the previous number plus 1. Let's look at the example. The first number is given, which is 1. Second number is calculated as 1 square plus 1 and equals 2. The third number is calculated as 2 square plus 1 and equals 5. Which means that the missing number is calculated as 5 square, which would be equal to 25, plus 1, which would be equal to 26. So the correct answer here is choice B, 26. Did you get to the same answer? If not, please make sure to post your answer and rationale in comments. Here is the challenging problem by solving which you will boost your cognitive abilities. You are presented with 5 hints and using these hints you need to unlock the code and open the lock. The hints are, in the digits 248 only one digit is correct and well placed. In the digits 845 Two digits are correct, but not correctly placed. In the digits 461, only one digit is correct, and it is correctly placed. In the digits 592, only one digit is correct, and it is well placed. And last but not least, hint that in the digits 904, none of the digits are correct. To open the lock, you need to process all the hints and select one out of four possible choices. Choice A, 518. Choice B, 485, choice C, 418, and last but not least, choice D, 568. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the answer. I am pretty sure you're done solving it by now, so I'm moving forward to share with you my version of the answer and solution. And if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. As you might have guessed, you solve this problem through elimination. And I'm going to start with the hint number 5, because it's the most helpful of all. Once we've learned that in combination 904 none of the digits are correct, we can eliminate two possible answers. We can eliminate both choices B and C, because both of them have digit 4, which is an incorrect digit. Let's continue elimination to get to the correct answer. If we look through the remaining four hints, we learn that in hint 1, where digits are 2, 4, 8, only one digit is correctly placed, which is digit 8. 
in hint 2, two digits are correct, but they are not correctly placed, and their digits 8 and 5. In hint 3, only one digit 6 is correct, and it is correctly placed. And last but not least, in hint 4, digit 5 is correct, and it is well placed. Based on this, the correct answer here is choice D, 568. Do you have any hints to show how to best solve these types of challenges? If you do, please make sure to post them in comments. Have you ever dealt with the money tree? Well, now it's your opportunity. And it's your opportunity to check your attention to details. You're presented with the money tree making enterprise. And you need to calculate the total value of money that you see in the picture. What's interesting here is that each coin is one cent and each bill equals one dollar. You need to identify all coins and all bills and count the total value. Once you complete the calculations, please select one out of four possible choices. Choice A, $10.18. Choice B, $12.09. Choice C, $15.15. And last but not least, choice D, $18.07. Take a close look to see if you can complete the calculations. I think the correct answer here is choice A, $10.18. And here's why. I counted $10 in the picture. Let's start with the top of the money tree. One, two, three, four. And then on the right, we see another group of the dollar bills. There are $5 there. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five. And then we see the hard to notice dollar bill on the top of the flower pot. Now let's count the coins. We see nine coins to the right of the flower pot. Then we see eight coins coming out of the watering can. And then there is one coin on top of the watering can, which is easy to miss. Did you get to the same answer? Choice A, $10.18. If you didn't, please make sure to post your answer and whatever other coins or dollar bills I missed in comments. Here's a puzzling question for you, but I have full confidence that you can solve it quickly. You're presented with 4x4 four four matrix, and the numbers are starting in the upper left corner, 9, 8, 3, 4. The second row numbers are 2, 9, 2, and then comes the missing number. The third row starts with 4, 6, 2, 0. And last but not least row is 7, 6, 2, and 6. You need to calculate the missing number. And you have four different choices to select from. Choice A, 2. Choice B, 5. Choice C, 6. And last but not least, choice D, 7. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the solution. Did you get to the right answer? I hope you did, because I'm moving forward to share with you my version of the solution. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. You're probably tired of hearing this on this channel, but to solve these types of challenges, you need to detect the pattern. And the pattern here is that the last two digits are equal to the sum of the first two digits multiplied by 2. Let's look at the example. The first row contains numbers 9, 8, 3, 4. And the expression here is that 9 plus 8 in parentheses multiplied by 2 equals 34. Based on this logic, the third number would be 4 plus 6 in parentheses multiplied by 2, which would be equal to 20, which represents the set of numbers 4, 6, and then 20. And then the last row would be 7 plus 6 in parentheses multiplied by 2, which would be 13 multiplied by 2, which would be equal to 26. So the missing number would be calculated as 2 plus 9 multiplied by 2 equals 22. So the correct answer here is choice A, 2. Did you get to the same answer? If you didn't, or maybe you got to a different answer, please make sure to post your version in comments. You will enjoy this question because it tests your logical thinking and analytical skills. You are presented with the dart in the exact middle of the dartboard. Dart has numbers on top of the ribbon and at the end of the ribbon. The numbers on the ribbon are 13, 18, 41, 128, and 517. Numbers at the end of the ribbon are 18, 41, 128, 517, and then comes the missing number you need to calculate and select out of four possible choices. Choices A, 
1921, choice B, 2029, choice C, 2359, and last but not least, choice D, 2590. Give yourself a moment, maybe pause this video to see if you can calculate the answer. Are you ready? Let's move forward so I can share with you my version of the answer. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. First, to answer this question, let's understand what we're dealing with. Since this game may not be very familiar in all the parts of the world, let's start with the definition. Darts is the competitive sport in which players throw small sharp pointed missiles, known as darts, at the round target known as dartboard. Now let's look closely at the dart we're dealing with. Our dart is unique because it has ribbons. There is a number on the ribbon and there is a calculated number at the end of the ribbon. To complete the calculations, let's assign each ribbon unique number. We're dealing with ribbons 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And as you might have already figured out, the number at the end of the ribbon is calculated based on the sequence ID and number on top of the ribbon itself. The formula to do the calculations is that the end of the ribbon number is calculated as number on top of the ribbon multiplied by sequence ID plus 5. Let's look at the example. The first blue ribbon has the sequence number 1, so that the end of the ribbon number is calculated as 13 multiplied by 1 plus 5, which would be equals 18. The second ribbon number is calculated as 18 multiplied by 2 plus 5 equals 41. The third ribbon number is calculated as 41 multiplied by 3 plus 5 equals 128. And the fourth ribbon number is calculated as 128 multiplied by 4 plus 5 equals 517. Now we know how to calculate the missing number. The missing number is calculated as 517 multiplied by 5 plus 5, which would be equal to 2590. So the correct answer here is choice D, 2590. Did you get to the same answer? If not, please make sure to post your answer and solution in comments. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you for helping us to become one of the largest YouTube channels to help people become smarter, increase your IQ, and to pass any test. If the content of this video was helpful, please make sure to click the like button to help YouTube algorithm promote this video and help other people to find it faster. Giving us a like is also a way for you to tell us that you need more content like this, and when you tell us, we will deliver it for you in the future. For links to free and premium resources, please check the description and comments of this video. You can also go directly to our website, howtoanalyzedata.net, to download the materials related to this topic. I really appreciate your endorsement, support and patronage of this channel. And thank you for considering to become a member and considering to subscribe. Please leave feedback, suggestions or corrections in comments. And all the best on your journey. I'll see you in my next video.